most of my ideas come from movies and like pop culture stuff. Uh, Fight Club, like top five for me. Um, what's the Quentin Tarantino stuff? It's like real life references. Usually, like when I see something, um, if I like it and like I want to take from it, uh, I usually like try to find a screenshot of it or like write it down. Like, oh, remember to steal this from like point something from this movie um, or just like a certain aspect of it. The thing about like designing and like all different stuff like that is like you find some small aspect that people are like, not noticing that stands out to you and like blow it up and like make it its own world. I started photography as like a hobby and just like kind of was in school, didn't want to know what I wanted to do. And then just like picked up a camera one day and was like, oh, I'm like not completely trash with this. I just started shooting every day, just street style stuff. Just like going to the city and just taking photos, learning how to use a camera better. And then I shot for a brand called Sprayground for the summer. I started doing more photos for streetwear brands. And then eventually I got brought in on a thing called Mikey Likes Ice Cream. We did a collab with a brand Hundreds. And like I have like a complete respect for like Bobby and Ben, like, you know, like the OGs of everything. I actually got the chance to shoot Nas for Sweet Chick at the restaurant. So they were like, hey, we have this thing coming out. Can you take photos for this? My friend Will, the marketing guy for Mikey Likes It, pretty much like taught me like some basics of like, oh, this is how you use Photoshop, this is how you like make a t-shirt and like all that stuff like that. And from there, I just fell in love with like just the whole design process and like, just like the, the idea that like, I have an idea in my head and I can just make anything I want. Yo, have you ever done, <laughs> have you ever turned on the fucking basketball? To do words, you press one on each one at a time. And that, that's gonna do the trick. I'm telling you that's gonna do the trick. What? They would bring up this design. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Comic Con. Hey, cool. Comic Con. It was like Comic Con. I think it's a Hype Fest. Hype Fest. Oh, no, they were at Hype Fest. Hype Fest? Hype Fest, there you yeah. go. Current project that I'm working on is called The World Sucks Co. Um, so, my friends from I 78, they were like, hey, we're doing an art show and for our production company that we just started, and we want you to kind of be like one of the exhibitors. They were like, what would you do? Because like, we know you do like cereal boxes and do a bunch of different stuff. I was like, well, I've been doing like product a lot lately, so uh, let me create a fake brand. Everything I made was like an everyday item. And the idea is that even though life can be trash and like a bunch of stuff happens and you go through things, these small everyday things are the things that make life worth it. It's just your perspective on it. And that one's worse? Yeah. And that one looks like it. I just looked over, I was like, yo, that's a lot of fucking holes. Yeah, this one's trash, bro. Yeah, the ones we have the most, yeah. You wanna try just the bottom one? The major obstacle for me was the basketballs. Um, Cause I've never like printed on a basketball. I didn't know if you could print on a basketball. I hit up my printer who usually does like my t-shirts and I was like, hey, have you ever printed on a basketball? And he's like, no, but I'm down to try it. We tried the print using vinyl. I sent him the design that I had in mind, he printed it out. I had to like take out every little word. But the letters didn't stick. So we tried uh, using car wrap vinyl. That shit didn't work either. Not even that, yo. Not we, that. we ain't getting no love, bro. Wow. So then I had to go back to drawing board. For me to like start an idea, I find that I'm like very lazy sometimes. So for me, sometimes I have to be completely bored out of my mind, and then I start on something. I start Googling. I've become like a master Googler now. Like I, my searches are like A1. Um, yeah, I just Google a bunch of shit and just kind of like pull the ideas together. That's like usually my step one. I had a conversation with a bunch of people and they're like, you could spray paint on it though. Oh, okay. I've never really spray painted before, but whatever, they'll get down to give it a try. So what I did is I made a stencil and I was originally gonna stick with the idea that I had, but as quickly as I was doing it, I realized All right, this isn't gonna work out, it's in my head. So then I literally had to like just freestyle it as I was going. 
And it started off with the stenciling the words, the world sucks co on it in a bunch of different placements in different colors. And then I started misting the colors over and I felt like I was in a better space. So I was like, all right, cool, this is working. But something was still missing. So I decided, you know what, let's do random paint splatters because I feel like graffiti artists do it all the time. So pretty much just YouTubed and was like, oh, that's how you do it. I was like, oh, this is super easy. So did a bunch of those. Oh, this is the final product. And like I was blown away because I was like, wow, I really just did this by hand. I really liked how from when I started, the idea completely changed and evolved into something different. Like that's the fun thing about creating. Like you never know what you're gonna end up with. I mean, I think everyone's nervous when you do something you've never done before. Like, but I feel like my whole career I've done stuff that I've never done before. One day I'd never shot with a camera before, but I learned how to do it. So I was pretty confident that I could just figure it out. To me, the internet's the best teacher. Like, if you really don't know something, just Google it. I even have like friends who like do graffiti and they were like, dude, this actually looks really good. So for them to say that, it was like, a, oh, really fun for me. Yeah, seeing people's reactions to everything was like insane. I knew I liked what I was doing. And I think most of my ideas start with that. Like if I like it, then I feel like generally people would like it. But like to actually see them be like, yo, this is like fucking cool. Like people taking pictures of it. My friends taking photos of me, like it felt good. From this project, I learned that sometimes you really just have to do the work and just like, don't worry about everything else. Like stuff falls together. As long as you're putting in the work to just make something happen, it's gonna work out. Just it's, stop worrying about the little things. If I really cared how like one little splatter was gonna mess up something, I would never have got to the idea that I got now. You know? If something's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. So just go with the punches.